Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing kind of like a full face of first impressions. It's not like everything, but it is most things, so I might have titled it full face of first impressions. I'm not quite sure yet. Basically, this company sent me some things to try out to put in a video. It came in this box, but it's from the website called Yes Style. I had never heard of it before, but they were like, hey, you wanted to try some makeup products from us? And I was like, sure, why not? They were like, okay, here's the products uh, we are gonna send to you. Is this okay? And I'm like, yeah, so anyway, here we go. It's been a while since I've done like a video like this, so I'm really excited to try out these things. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. By the way, I did get a new bedspread and it's just like an ivory color and I like it so much better, but that doesn't really matter. I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face, so I'm gonna get on to eyebrows because that's what I do next. I got this eyebrow pencil to try out. Everything has this kind of like label thing on it, but basically, I guess Yes Style is like a website and then they have like a ton of different brands i don't know it was really confusing so i'm happy that they were like okay here's what we're gonna send you or else i would have been probably really overwhelmed some of these brands i've heard of some of them i haven't but this is the eyebrow pencil they sent to me this eyebrow pencil is by the brand in is free and it's just their auto eyebrow pencil hopefully the brightness is like fine yeah this is in the shade urban brown yeah and it has like different language writing on it on some of it it has a spoolie on one end and this is the pencil it's kind of like a weird shape i don't know if you can tell but it's like a oval shape this looks like it's gonna be dark but we're gonna just try it out Okay, there are the brows. They're nothing great. They look a little wonky, but the shade isn't right. And the pencil, I'm not a big fan of. It was a little hard to work with, especially with the shape. I don't know, the shape isn't very great. I mean, it got the job done. Um, I just need to clean them up with concealer, which is the next step that I'm gonna do since I'm not gonna use foundation. This, I'm kind of worried about because it's it doesn't look like my shade, but this is the Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. It just doesn't look like it will be my shade but we can give it a go so i'm first gonna swatch it but that is just not gonna work especially to clean up my eyebrows so i'm gonna go ahead and use my own concealer to clean up my eyebrows and then we can maybe try that on my face all right i went ahead and primed my eyelids with concealer as well because the next step is eyeshadow this is the eyeshadow palette they sent me it's the etude house play color eyes palette it comes with two sponge tips which i won't be using the shade names come on top of it which i think is cute except that i can't read them but they have little pictures on them and it's cute like i was saying the colors in it are actually really pretty so we're gonna be creating an eyeshadow look using this palette i need to take this thing off the mirror first All right, this mirror is a really nice, actually. The first shade I'm going to be taking is this kind of, like, transition-y shade. It's the fourth shade in the palette. The layout of this palette, honestly, is not, like, my favorite, but if the eyeshadows work, then it's okay. All right, that was a really nice transition shade. The next shade I'm going to take is this, like, brown kind of shade. Just kind of deepen it up a little more. All right, now that that is done, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with this purpley shade. And I'm gonna do a halo eye since I like, haven't really done that in a while. And um, I need to get better at them, but we're just gonna go for it. It starts out looking a bit messy, but once you cut it with concealer, it should look better. Then I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and go in with the darkest shade in the palette. It's just this purple color. I'm gonna kinda deepen the crease up a little bit more, I guess. I'm gonna take this like small brush. It's really tiny. Also use some concealer. I'm actually gonna use the concealer that they sent to me.
So I'm gonna complete the other eye off camera and I'll be back. Okay, both eyes are done. Again, I'm not great at them, but honestly, it could be worse. Now I'm going to do eyeliner. So the eyeliner that they sent me was this Matte Queen New York waterproof eyeliner pen and it's in the shade Deep Black. I'm gonna do like a wing, I guess, since I'm gonna apply falsies. Oh my gosh, they are two. Mm. I've literally never done eyeliner this bad. Whew. The only bad thing about the eyeliner, okay, it's the good thing is, is it's really black and like pigmented, but the bad thing is that it's really liquidy. It was kind of hard to control and it kind of just got everywhere, but oh my gosh, look how much the concealer has oxidized. Yeah, I will not be able to use the concealer. I'm going to apply falsies right now, and then I'll be back with the rest of the makeup. Okay, eyelashes look crusty. That's because I've used them so much, and they're my favorite eyelashes. And as I was putting them on, I was like, you know what? It's time to get five more pairs. So I just ordered five more pairs off of Shop Mase. They are a dollar a piece. The eyelashes are, like, taking up the whole look, but it is okay because the look isn't that good anyway so now i'm going to move on to concealer and i'm using my own concealer because the other one is insanely dark and i cannot use it and personally i like using concealer over foundation any day like i just like concealer so much better and then you can focus it in the areas that you need it instead of like putting it on your whole face Okay, concealer is blended out. I'm looking a little ghostly. So we're gonna add some color to my face with this blush. This is the Sugar Ball Cushion Cheek Color. And what I don't get is why it's called a cushion cheek color if it's just a cream. I mean, there's nothing cushion about that. Also, that is really pigmented. So I'm gonna have to go in kind of light-handed with this. But I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use this little brush thing. Oh gosh, that's a lot just gotta even it out and hope for the best okay it's not too bad once i like blend it out with this and they did include a powder so this is the innisfree no sebum powder and it does come with this little puff thing which i mean it doesn't seem bad but i'm just gonna go ahead and use the brush that i usually use how do you get this little thing out that's what the color looks like. I think it should just be translucent, but I cannot read the outside. All right, the powder seems good to me. Nothing stands out much to me. It seems good. It didn't make the makeup look really cakey. Honestly, I like it. Now is bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. And this is the Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodin Shading. I don't know. I guess it's like a contour, um, but this packaging, okay. Out of all of this stuff, this packaging is my favorite. I don't know why. It just is cute, and I like the little compact. It's cute. This is what the packaging looks like. I I don't know. It's really adorable. And then you open it up. It has this little thing that says the company name. And then this is the actual product. So it looks like it just has a bunch of different shades of, like, contour bronzers. I would... I don't know. I think they're all kind of cool toned. This is the most warm toned out of them. Looks like... I don't know. I'm just going to kind of mix them because... What I would do on a normal day. I'm just gonna kinda do that. Okay, this actually isn't very pigmented. There's like. No pigment at all. What the heck? I expected this to be like crazy pigmented there's like nothing there i'm so confused this is so weird because like when i like rub my finger on it like little hairs are coming out i hope the camera can pick this up oh my gosh 
like there's one right there. Okay, well, I'm not gonna use that. Dang. This even had like a nice mirror and everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my own bronzer. There we go. Even one dip. It's already good. My face. Oh, I just realized that this was still like that. Okay. So my face is looking a little crazy because the blush, I already put too much blush, but honestly, it's not awful, awful. Okay, I'm gonna go on to highlighter and. Uh, they didn't include one in the package, so I'm just gonna use what I already have. That is done. I'm gonna do some lower lash line. Nothing too crazy there. And the last step is lips. So the lip product they included is this Meme Box Pony Effect Favorite Fluid Lip color in sheer delight the packaging on this i actually really like it just looks really nice like just the whole packaging is so cute kind of smells like strawberries and cantaloupe that's what it smells like it's not really a color that i would really reach for and my camera is about to die okay so final thoughts i'm gonna give you my thoughts on everything so first we got this liquid thing the lip product and i i don't know i mean it smells decently good it kind of smells like the dentist as well as fruit it looks really nice on your lips it makes them look really healthy um the color isn't what i would reach for on a normal day it doesn't really go with the look but for someone who would like this color i think they would really like it the formula is nice the powder it seems to work it looks good right now i don't know how it'll wear throughout the day since i will be taking this off i don't really know yet but i mean it's nice and everything that i've tried out from this brand i really liked i have their skincare products like their makeup cleansing thing set and then i also have a face mask from them and i really really like them the blush i thought i put on too much at first but it honestly doesn't look awful the color isn't super duper good but like i feel like i would use it the bronzer least favorite thing in the whole package which is really sad actually this bronzer i would only give it a good rating because of the packaging but the bronzer itself is so bad the innisfree eyebrow pencil it's it's decent i mean i got the job done but it just didn't it's not exactly in my shade but i mean right now it doesn't look bad the eyeshadow palette is really pretty actually the layout isn't my favorite but i mean the eyeshadows worked good i liked it the concealer is not my shade but from using it on my eyelids it seemed like it was kind of like a thicker concealer it seemed like it would be good coverage but i can't really give you my full opinion and then the last thing was the waterproof eyeliner pen the only bad thing about it is that it was watery but it was really pigmented and black i like it and i like waterproof pens that's my favorite type of eyeliner that is my thoughts on everything thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you like this type of video because i could potentially be doing more in the past anyway i love you guys so much don't forget to comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye